Hello everybody and welcome back. Last time we explored a sizable section of the Mars Lighthouse and we also got the teleport synergy. This time we're going to explore the lighthouse even further and hopefully find Karst and Agathe. But before that, now that we have the teleport synergy I went back to Yalam and I got a few new weapons. For example, out of the piece of mithril silver, I got the Levity for Garrett. And I also got the Nebula one from the piece of the Orialco. It is pretty much Mia's ultimate weapon. Not that it really matters that much since she's mostly a support character, but yeah. The reason that I didn't try and get a second Excalibur so that Felix can have a stronger weapon than the Estia Blade is because, well, we'll soon be getting a far better weapon than the Hestia Blade, and a weapon that is comparable to the Excalibur. As for the other items, well, I actually sold the Dark Matter because I didn't really need any of the items that I could get from it, and I did get, however, a Ardak probe for Jenna, and some Titan Gloves that I believe I gave them to Felix. Yeah, I sold the Stardust because it was pretty much useless, and I sold the the extra Salamander Tail and Golem Cores, because I can just buy them back anyways. But yeah. So if you recall last time, there was actually a specific room in the Mars Lighthouse in which, after we used the Reveal Synergy, we encountered, we found a Stone Seal. And that is actually where we want to go next. But unfortunately we do have to go through this room. Luckily we don't have to push the statue all the way. Alright, there we go. Let's quickly take out the doodle bug. And I just realized that Jenna is still in the front, even though I actually want to have Mia. There we go. Alright, here we go. And right there, we have the same chest that contained the second piece of the Oracle. So, before we drop down there, I want to quickly go all the way around, and you'll see why in a moment. Oh, there we got the Reverse Star Unleash of the Nebula one. Let's see if we can actually get the Levadin Unleash. Nope. It actually missed. Oh, anyways. Oh, well. We do have another thing to show you. Here we have a new enemy. This is the Akamana. He is level 35. It has 479 HP, 70 synergy, 405 attack, 129 defense, 187 agility, and 32 luck. It has a Venus and Jupiter resistance of 100, a Mars resistance of 72, and a Mercury resistance of 127. And it has a Mercury elemental power of 100. It normally uses 546 experience points, which then becomes 709 if we finish it off with a Mars gene. It drops 318 coins, which then become 413. And there is a 1 in 128 chances that then become a 1 in 32 that it will drop the Gloria Helm, which is a piece of artifact that I'll go into detail later. As for its commands, it has the basic attack, the Human Hunt Monster skill, which will either deal 1 point of damage or kill the target instantly, the Demon Eye Monster skill, which may inflict Hunt status and it targets the entire party, and the Freeze Prism and Curse synergies. And we get to go first, so he has no chance at all. Alright, let's quickly go over the Gloria Hub, shall we? So, it has a defense boost of 49 and it provides a passive HP recovery of 10 points. So, not a bad helmet. And similar to what I did with the Clothos this stuff, I will be showing the RNG to actually get the Gloria Helm near the end of the video. But for now, let's continue on through here. 
because we have a chest which contains the Valkyrie mail, which is possibly one of the best pieces of equipment in the game. But for now, I actually want to give it to... let's give it to Felix. Alright, so, the Valkyrie mail. It has a defense boost of 53, and its side effect is that it boosts the unleash rate by 20%. So it is hands down one of the best pieces of gear if you're going for a offensive uh, setup or a, a setup that focuses on boosting the unleashed chances because 20% is incredible for them. But yeah. So as you can see here, we actually have what looks like a. Well, I'll get to that in a moment. First, let's take them, the minus warriors out. So right here, be prepared, because as soon as we drop down and touch and press the button, the the stone head right there will start will begin to move, and we actually have to make it all the way to the other side of the room before it does, otherwise it will pretty much send us to the gigantic hole. And in order to make this not a joke, this one will actually not freeze in place whenever we're using Synergy, so we do have to kinda hurry, but it is actually fairly easy. There we go. And even though you can clearly see from here that if you use Pound on the one right below us, it is actually a trap, for whatever reason the the game sets it out that way, so you can clearly tell from the beginning that there's no point in going. But yeah, anyway. And right here. You may have noticed that I completely ignored the stone seal that we just went past. That is because we first want to put the dragon statue right there, so that it will prevent the um, the flames from actually dropping us down. Alright, now we can use teleport. And now we are finally safe. So, aside from the Akamana, there's actually another enemy that we should have encountered by now. Hopefully it will show up soon. But, we'll continue on with that thought. Right there we have a chest. And even though it's actually quite easy to get, the reward from it is... well insane, as you're about to see. Phyllis gave a soul blade to Gary. So, let's quickly inspect that, shall we? So the soul blade, as you can see it says that it is a longsword and Garrett can equip longswords, but for whatever reason he cannot. And that is because the soul blade is intended as the ultimate Venus weapon for either of the, let's say, main characters, that is to say Felix and Isaac, meaning that only only they can equip. And as you can see right there, it is slightly stronger, it has a higher attack boost than the um, Excalibur, but it is debatable which one is the better weapon. For now, of course, I'm going to give it to Felix, because it is far better than the Hestia Blade that he has in hand. So, let's quickly go over the Soul Blade, shall we? The Soul Blade has an attack boost of 200, its unleash is called Mekido, and it deals a bonus attack that is equal to a basic attack multiplied by 3.
All right. So yeah, overall a fantastic weapon. I do find it kind of odd that taking into account the name of the weapon and the unleash itself that it deals Venus damage. The word soul stands for sun. It is the Spanish word for sun. And you would imagine that it would actually be a... It would deal Mars damage. But yeah. Anyways, here we have two Agamana. And they are rather tough, so let's see if we can take them out in one turn. But yeah, now we got the Soul Blade and the Excalibur. If we put Isaac and Felix together, they can deal an insane amount of damage. Alright, it only did one damage. There we go. And me a level up. Nice. Alright, we are heading slowly deeper and deeper into the lighthouse. Actually, let's actually switch Ivan for Felix and see if we can, I can show the Soul Blade. Well, maybe not. But we get to see the Radiant Fire mission. Okay. And right here, we have a flame circuit and what looks like two gigantic dragons locked in a wall of ice. So, let's quickly use Blaze. And before I use Burst, I want to quickly set up the party, because I do have a plan for this next path. Yeah, this, this setup should be fine. So, before you use Burst, be prepared, because we have quite a tough battle ahead of us. And here we have the Flame Dragons. Even though they look identical, uh, except for the size, they are not. First, let's go over the large one. It is level 45, it has 5724 HP, 250 synergy, of which it recovers 4 at the end of every turn, 400 attack, 137 defense, 158 agility and 48 luck. It has a Venus and Jupiter resistance of 100, a Mars resistance of 175 and a Mercury resistance of 25, and a Mars elemental power of 115. It normally yields 2,502 experience points, which then become 3,252 if we finish it off with a Mercury Gene. It drops 1,521 coins, which then become 1,977. As for its commands, it has the Basic Attack, the Rolling Flame, Stun Muscle and Flame Breath and Cage monster skills, and the Rising Dragon and Meteor Blow synergies. Alright, on to the smaller dragon. It is also level 45. It has 5,348 HP, 320 synergy, which it also recovers for every turn, 389 attack, 134 defense, 215 agility, and 55 luck. Its elemental stats are the same as the other dragon, and so is the experience yield, but it does give a couple more coins. And it actually has a guaranteed drop of a Psy Crystal. As for its commands, it has the basic attack, the flame breath, hit keys, and gene fest monster skill, and the Fire Blast, Supernova, Healing Aura, and Break Synergies. Alright, so, they're actually quite tough, fairly tough enemies, and that is why I actually want to have Isaac, Felix, and Pierce out in front. They will be the ones dealing most of the damage, where Mia will act as support. So, for now I actually want to focus on the large one. So we're going to do for, for now, basic attacks, and let's see if there's something I can do here. Mm, not really. So for now, let's just use Wishwell. 
I will of course try to get the uh, the XP and coin boost on both of them. And I think the uh, large one just got like almost a thousand damage. So if we keep that up, we should be fine. All right, now we have Megiddo. All right, six hundred sixty-three. So almost two thousand damage. Let's keep up the strategy. Oh, come on. Well, that turn wasn't really... We didn't get to do much there. Oof. That was actually quite a lot of damage. Alright, let's... Continue. On triple damage. Yes. Oof. All right. With that, we should be almost four thousand damage, or around four thousand damage. So I guess one more round of that, and then we'll start using our Mercury Gene on the large dragon. I don't think that even a even if we get the very best unleashes that we can, that is to say double damage with, Wasam with Masamune, triple damage with Excalibur and the Megiddo, I think that it will still survive. Let's see. And yeah, so the real comparison between the Soul Blade and the Excalibur is that the Soul Blade deals more damage more consistently, but the Excalibur can occasionally surpass the damage output of the Soul Blade, if the damage is true. The downside is of course that the Excalibur deals Jupiter damage, whereas the Soul Blade does indeed deal Venus damage, which is better suited for a Venus type. but anyways. So I think that's more than enough for now, let's actually start using the um, the Mercury Gen. So let's see here. Sour and Hail. Why not? Alright, we got its resistance down a bit. So yeah, let's let's do one more round. Alright, one down. Now we only have to worry about the smaller one. Though we have sustained a considerable amount of damage, so I think I'll take this opportunity to actually heal with the Venus Adepts and they can just get their gene back. get back on the offensive. Let's heal Felix and let's get Sour back. Actually let's just, just wish and we should be fine. Alright, so let's get on it. So with the Megiddo it should be almost a, thou a thousand damage, all in all. Yeah, pretty much. That's fine. Just 
just to be safe. Let's just wish well. Alright, no unleashes whatsoever. What's that about, like, 450 damage, I guess? So let's say that we are at 14, 1400 damage. Thousand and two hundred damage so far. Twenty eight hundred and then thirty five hundred. Thirty eight hundred. Four thousand. Uh oh. If I get a Megiddo, we might actually kill him. Uh oh. Please don't. Come on. Well, it was a nice try. Though Pierce did get to level up, and we did get a Cyrus. And shock of all shocks. Why? Why am I lying here? Wait, I think I remember. We were going to light the beacon. But the lighthouse was frozen. We wandered lost inside, trying to find the eerie. We must hurry. If we delay, Prox is destroyed. It's no use. I am absolutely drained. I can't even stand. In the cold? Why am I so cold? We of the Fire Clan are meant to be immune to the cold. I feel the cold too, Karst. I... I'm afraid we're going to die up here. I can feel it now. The long dark sleep creeping into my soul. Wait. I think I remember. The eye. It told us that we lack the will to go any farther. The eye. I remember now. I felt its case pierce me to the core. Then all went black. That's right. And I remember fighting against Felix. I do, too. Was it a dream? An illusion? Felix? Is that you? Amazing. Then our luck hasn't entirely run out yet. Felix, you must complete our quest. Please, you have to light the beacon. We cannot even stand. We're in no condition to go on. Light the beacon for us. Please. You'll need the Mars Star. Go on, take it. Please hurry. If I can just see the light of the beacon, I'll know that I haven't died in vain. We are counting on you. Alright, so let's quickly get this star. It's too late for us now. Hurry, light the beacon. Phyllis got the Mars star. You who hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to reach the heavens, give your star to me. So, let's actually go ahead and do that. So, it would seem that we have awakened the fire inside the lighthouse. Your hand, so warm. People have such warm hands. I had forgotten. So, yeah, it was Karst and Agatio all the time. And there are actually a 
uh, hints to that if you look at their moveset during the battle. And also the fact that they restore some synergy at the end of every turn. That is because, since they are Mars Adepts, the Lighthouse will power them up. I'm so cold! Colder than I ever thought possible! All because Mars Lighthouse remains unlit. I have to stay alive. Long enough to see its light. I do wonder about that last line. That might actually be a hint as to what happens near the end of the game. But for now, let's actually ignore it. I'm so tired. The fog is rising before my eyes. No! Can't die until the beacon is lit. So yeah, unfortunately we cannot do anything to help them. So for now, let's actually head back to the entrance. Because now that we have the Mars Star, we can actually head back to the that room that we saw way back. In which we also had a giant dragon head that demanded to see the star. But yeah, the lighthouse is actually looking a bit better. And actually, now that we now that we awake sorry, now that we awaken the fire on it, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to actually access another part of it. Now that we awaken the fire, we actually have an open flame here. And we can finally see what's behind that door. But before we go any further, I actually want to get the... the original setup that I had before. There we go. This burst right here. And here we finally have the Marcin that we saw way back. And of course, it is hostile. Here we have Few. It is level 35. It has 950 HP, 89 synergy, 304 attack, 95 defense, 267 agility, and 30 luck. Its elemental stats are the same as any other Marcin. It normally gives 1,145 experience points, which then become 1,488. If we finish it off with a Mercury Gin, it drops 731 coins, which then become 950. And it, as for its commands, it has a basic attack, the Fiery Jackal, Searing Beam, Pyroclasm, Dire Inferno, and Dragon Fume synergies, and the Flea command. So, let's actually see... Let's get Pierce back. And let's use... Petra to immobilize it. And let's use Forge to boost our attack. Let's see, what can we do here? Let's use Gel and uh, Hail. One more round should do it. Just to be safe, let's use ground on him. Garrett can just defend. Let's use fog and slit. There we go. Me, I found the margin. Phew. So, before we go over a few, let's quickly set all the gin back. And of course, let's give it to Jen. So, few. Its battle effect is rather useless. It reduces the target's synergy. That's all. 
it doesn't do any particular attack with any added damage, it only reduces the target's TNG, which is not particularly useful against regular enemies, even the ones that have synergy, and downright useless against any of the remaining bosses in the game. As for the set stat bonus that it provides, he gives a plus 11 to base HP, plus 4 to base synergy, and plus 2 to base defense. Alright, so let's actually use retreat once more to head back to the entrance. And as we saw before, the ice is now gone and the place is surrounded by lava. You who hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to scale the heavens, set the four spirits aflame. All right. So it would seem that we have a bit more of the lighthouse to explore but I think we will leave that for later. We explored an even larger portion of Mars Lighthouse and we encountered Karst and Agatha, albeit in their transformed states. But we did get back the Mars star. So I think I'll just go ahead and show the Gloria Helm RNG and that'll be all for now. Alright, so I just reset and I do know for a fact that the very next random encounter should be two Akamana. But, do keep in mind that the Akamana actually only appear in a couple of rooms within Mars Lighthouse. Specifically this room and some of the rooms in the latter section of the lighthouse. So if you try to do this RNG, let's say, at the entrance, you will most likely be unsuccessful. But anyways, let's just quickly walk around here and they should be appearing anytime soon. There we go. And of course we get to go first. So this particular, this particular RNG is actually quite similar to the one that we did for the Clothos this time. And since last time we focused on the enemy on the left, this time I'm going to focus on the one on the right. As for Felix, the first command is a Clay Spire, then Aura for Jenna, Stormray for Sheba, and then Tundra for Pierce. And in the second turn, I'll have Felix attack the Akamana that we have been, let's say, mostly ignoring. As for Jenna, she will use Shine. I do believe that Starfire Cold used Torch in his video. But as I mentioned before, you don't need to have the exact same gene. Any gene that can actually take out the enemy should work fine. So let's use Shine on the second Akamana. Sheba can just defend and we'll have Pierce attack the first one, just to be safe. There we go, one down, and Megiddo should take out the other. There we go. And if we did everything according to the RNG, we should be getting the Gloria Helm. Nice. Alright, so that is another RNG done. So, uh, we got the Gloria Helm and we also got the Mars Star. Next time we're going to explore the final section of Mars Lighthouse right before we get to the ear. See you guys 